you believe computers might soon have a hand in where you live, who you marry, where you work, without you consciously knowing it? Increasingly, yes. I mean, sometimes it's voluntary. You would give them the authority to make decisions for you because it's just easier and better. You want to meet somebody on Tinder. You give information because yep. you want to be matched mm -hmm. appropriately. And this completely changes your understanding of what dating means or what relationships means. I mean, you know, part of the problem with many of these dating apps that um, they see you not as a producer of relationships, but as a consumer of people, of dates. Didn't you meet your husband on a dating app? Yeah, I met <laughs> on, on a very old-fashioned <laughs> dating app. Okay. So yeah. Did, did you give up a lot of data <laughs> to meet him? Uh, not really. It was it was still kind of very. I, I think it was the first dating app for for gay uh, gay people in Israel. Yeah. It was like almost 20 years ago, and yes, it was a big success.